Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and have I got a Disney haul for you. Holy moly. We just got back from a 10 day stay at Walt Disney World. We got back on the 7th of February and we're annual pass holders. And so, <laughs> and so we got 20% off the first four days that we were there and then 30% off the rest of the time that we were there. So to say that we bought some things is a bit of an understatement. <laughs> Of course, I mean, you guys kind of expect um, some large hauls that come from us anyway. Um, this trip was amazing. It was 10 full days. So the first four days, my best friend Jackie and my husband Jesse were, we were all together at the cabins at Fort Wilderness. And then the rest of the time, Jesse and I continued to stay at the cabins, but we were just by ourselves after that. Um, this trip was so interesting. Um, there's going to be so many vlogs. I think we have, we're going to have like nine or 10 vlogs that are going to come from this trip. So there are a lot, a lot of videos coming. Um, so be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't. Uh, we also had a really weird thing happen while we were there. Jesse hurt his foot. We had to go to urgent care at like one o'clock in the morning. Um, it was crazy. Um, and so he was only luckily out of commission for like one day. And then he was able to use a scooter for the second day. And then he he decided to like walk on his foot after that. It was a complete strange happenstance. And I want to say really quick, thank you so much to all of you that reached out to us to help us with what to do when you're injured in Disney World. Um, I have, you guys are amazing. And, and so I, <laughs> I just cannot thank you enough for the outpouring of love to Jesse, to myself, um, and really trying to help us have still a good vacation experience, regardless of what was happening. And yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough. Everyone um, that was following along on Instagram was so nice. Um, yeah, I just appreciate you guys so much. So thank you. Uh, for helping us during that weird time. Um, anyway, so moving on, we bought a lot of stuff. And so why don't we just go ahead and get into this amazing 10 day Disney World haul. I haven't been to Disney World for 10 days straight since 2016. So we, we made a dent, we will say that. <laughs> don't know where to start to be honest <laughs> oh my gosh okay um you know what I'm gonna start with plushes because this trip I got a lot of plushes which isn't typical for me I love I love plushes don't get me wrong but it's definitely not something that I always pick up so first we're gonna start with oh my goodness you probably saw this in the thumbnail but this is the pastel Mickey Mouse that came out this last year, I believe, um, in the fall time of 2020. And oh my gosh, first of all, look how beautiful he is. He is very, very fuzzy. And then he's got like this pastel rainbow pattern that goes all around him. And something to note is that I am an annual pass holder. So they were the first three or four days of our trip it was 20% off and then it switched to 30% off, hence the haul. So this guy, I'm not gonna do the math for you, but I'm gonna tell you what the full price of these items are. And if you wanna do the math, cause I'm not good at math, please do it. Um, but this is $29.99. He's so precious. I have, um, I have a couple of things that I put out um, during June for Pride Month, and so he's definitely gonna be one of those, but oh my gosh, purple's my favorite color, and I just love that all of his accents are in purple. Like, I hope they make more plushes like this, because this is super fun. So if you guys have watched my channel over the last year, you may have noticed that I've been really connecting with a couple of characters, and my preferences change all of the time. It's kind of always like kind of rolling and evolving as time goes on, and I know a lot of you uh, feel that way too, and if, if that's, who's your favorite character right now? Because right now, mine is... Goofy. So I've been really connected to Goofy, really connected to Mickey Mouse during the lockdown. And so I decided to get a plush of him because I'm, I don't have any Goofy merchandise outside of 
one pin that my friend Jen gave me and then also a really, really beautiful gym shore that my friend Lindsay gave me from Ears to Mickey Mom. I'll leave her information down below. She's got a really awesome Instagram page and also a YouTube channel. But this is the Goofy plush. He's the traditional Goofy plush. What's really interesting is like his sweater is real. Um, he's got a fuzzy vest, a corduroy pants with patch, giant feet, giant hands, <laughs> and he is just looking so adorable. This plush was $26.99, and it is very lanky and very awkward and very bendy, but uh, that's just how goofy is. Oh, look, he crossed his legs. Hmm, fancy. While we're on a goofy kick, I also got this keychain. This keychain was $9.99, and I have a black backpack that my husband carries through the parks and we have a Lotso plush on the front. And my husband also enjoys Goofy, so I'm gonna be putting this little Goofy plush onto the backpack as well. So he's got a little bag clip, so that's how you clip him on to the backpack. And there he is, just super adorable. He doesn't have any texture or anything on him. He's made of all of the same material. Outside if he's got like little tufts of little hair, um, but also, can we talk about how, his, how ridiculous his ears look? <laughs> so I'm going to be adding that to our backpack for future Disney trips. Speaking of my husband, so Jesse, uh, yes, we have the same name, by the way. If you're new here, my husband and I have the same name, which is why I go by Miss Cherry. Um, so my husband recently, when we went to Tokyo in 2019, he started really liking Oswald, like a lot. And so he has kind of collected some Oswald things I've collected for him, really. But he saw this and he's like, man, that's really cool. And so I totally bought it for him. And this is the Oswald Knitted Plush. And these remind me, like, I don't know, when you were little, did you ever have like a sock monkey? Like these look like sock monkeys to me. I mean, he's got some really cute details in his face. I love how smiley he is. And um, look at all of his little fingers. And he is a really soft, I mean, he feels like he's homemade, like he's crocheted or knit. And this guy was $27.99. And I usually take the tags off of all my plushes, so I think I'm gonna take the tag off of him. But this was a little present for my husband and he really, really liked it, so the piece de resistance of all of the plushes. Guys, I've been wanting this plush for so, so, so long. And I waited until there was 30% off before I bought it because they had a, they always have a lot of them. But I made a point that I was going to make room in my luggage for my favorite guy. Oh my gosh, it is Figment. So Figment is, this is the sleeping plushes and they have a lot of sleeping plushes. And if you see my Tokyo haul, you will have known I bought a Lotso that's also sleeping like this. And oh my gosh, they are so precious. This is called, um, the, in the United States, these are called Dream Friends. I don't know if that's what they're called in Tokyo as well. But he's got his little hands crossed and he's like laying there. Look how serene he is. I wonder what he's dreaming about. <laughs> What is he dreaming about, guys? <laughs> but doesn't he look so peaceful? And he's got his little wings on the back and his little plush uh, belly and his, uh, he, these are so soft. If you've ever felt the Disney cuddlies, they're so incredibly soft. This is the same material. These sleeping plushes are the same material and I swear they should make all of their plushes out of this. It is so soft. But this guy, I don't have a price on him. It doesn't say the price. So if you guys know how much this guy is, if you could leave it down below, I'm sure someone might wanna know. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to stationery. I don't generally get a lot of stationery. I got some when I went to Tokyo, which has held me over, but I felt the need to get specifically this notebook because I purchased a notebook just like this in 2016 and I fell in love with it because it's two-sided, okay? So this side has the um, Fab Five and then you open it up and it's got like lined paper. But then, but wait, there's more. You can flip it. And then this side also has lined paper and also has Goofy and Donald, which is super fun. 
So you can use it in either direction. How cool is a reversible notebook? Also, it's just so easy to flip it completely around, which I really appreciate. A lot of journals, you know, they have that like hard binding and it's just hard to write, especially especially being a lefty. So um, as a left-handed person, I appreciate like a notebook that lays flat like this. So it's just, this notebook is bomb. I love it so much. $19.99. I was so excited that they came out with another version of the notebook that I got several years ago. Now to go along with that, I actually purchased some pins because I love how the Disney pins write. They're so lovely. I really enjoy like a thick ink and also like a really smooth writing. I'm not a big gel pins kind of fan. So these are ballpoint pins. These are from the parks. I got these at Magic Kingdom. And so there is Minnie, Donald, Mickey, Goofy, Chip and Dale, and Pluto in there. And now I was not very proud of myself because I just grabbed these like not thinking and they are $17.99. And I was like, Oh my gosh. Um, I did not realize that until I got back to the cabins, but honestly, I'm totally going to use them. So it's okay, but I probably wouldn't normally spend $17.99 on a pack of six pins. So, um, whoopsies. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I will only buy stationery from Tokyo because everything in Tokyo is so inexpensive. Next, we are going to move on to a couple of things that um, were given to us by our friend Jackie. Uh, Jackie got us these really cute cabins at Fort Wilderness koozies. And these were for our time that we spent in the cabins. Unfortunately, it wasn't very warm when we were there. In fact, it was very cold. So um, these didn't come in handy too often, but they're super cute. And then on the back of them, it has like a little acorn and like a pine tree and a canoe. I think these are super adorable and they'll definitely get use here in Alaska. So um, these are going to go, we have like a little koozie jar where we put all our koozies in. So <laughs> these will be added to our koozie jar. Next item I got is actually a magic band and they, I've never seen these magic bands before. They are so beautiful. And yes, free magic bands have gone away. And also there's not really a big purpose for them anymore because we don't have fast passes. So if you're staying at the resort, the nice thing about them is you can like charge things back to your room. But outside of that and like going into the parks, that's all you can really use them for. So they're not necessary. I just want to be very clear. My hope is that I'm going to buy some and then we'll get fast passes in the future. So I'm trying to manifest fast passes, <laughs> manifest fast passes through my purchases. But this is it. And guys, oh my goodness, how glittery is this? So this is the pink glitter magic band and it has like a millennial pink underneath. So I do have the millennial pink magic band and it looks like they just like coated this in glitter. Now I will say it does not feel like the best quality of glitter. And the reason why I'm saying that is like, it feels like it could get scratched. I only used this for a couple of days when I was there. And so I wasn't like using it heavily, but it, it doesn't feel super like the glitter doesn't feel super connected to the band, if that makes sense. I will report back. I have a feeling that this is going to become my favorite magic band because it is so shiny. And I got so many compliments in the parks because I guess this one and uh, the silver one are brand new. And oh my gosh, I love that they're doing some glittery magic bands because I really enjoy a plain magic band that kind of goes with everything. So totally here for this. I believe that this was $24.99. Next, I'm gonna quickly go over a couple of freebies. We always donate to the Disney Conservation Fund. This is the this is the conservation fund that they have at Animal Kingdom. So you can donate anywhere from a dollar up to as as much as you want. And then they give you a button to go with that. So I chose the elephant button. I just donated a dollar and we do that every time that we go. Jackie and I went to Tiffin's. Unfortunately, Jesse was injured the day that we went. But at Tiffin's, they give you a free 4x4 art print with your meal that's created by the Imagineer Joe Rohde. And this was the 
artwork that we got this time. Like, how cool is that? So this is the prayer wheel and butter offering in Nepal. And so these, I have a collection now of three of these, and I am going to be framing them and placing them into my office because we have kind of like an Animal Kingdom type themed office going on right now. So I love these. I think they're so cool. And they're actually really good quality prints too. Like it's surprising like paper that they use and everything. So we are going to talk about Run Disney. So I have participated just recently in January um, in my fourth half marathon for Run Disney. And they had Run Disney merchandise because the last two races that we have done, they were virtual. And so you do the race at home and then you log your time. And it's all like the, the honor system basically. And actually there's another race that's coming up this upcoming weekend. Animal Kingdom and I believe at Hollywood Studios both they had Run Disney merchandise out for people to purchase and so let me show you what we got. Okay first I'm gonna start with the spirit jersey. I was so excited that they had a Run Disney spirit jersey. So here's the spirit jersey. It says every mile is magic. That's Run Disney's kind of main um, catchphrase. It says Run Disney on the back and guys look at Mickey. So Mickey is running and look at all the emblems in the back. Magic Kingdom is the largest and then there's Epcot, uh, Spaceship Earth, the Tower of Terror, and then also the Tree of Life. And he is sweating, and I think he looks so cute in his little running outfit. There's also what I like to call like little racing stripes on the sleeves. I love this so much. I was so sad last year when I missed out on their, they had an ombre purple to blue spirit jersey, and I will forever have regrets about not getting that. And it was Run Disney, and on the bottom, it was like the Fab Five plus Chippendale running never forgive myself for that one. <laughs> so this guy was $69.99 and that's the standard price for spirit jerseys just in case you were wondering. And then the next couple of items are so cool. So the next item I got, which I'm going to be wearing during my race this upcoming weekend, are these super adorable socks. Now I don't know how to show you guys. Let me try to there. <laughs> These are so cute. Okay, so here we have Mickey on the sock and he's like pouring water over his head looking so tired from his race, which I think is adorable. And then there is that same emblem that was on the back of the spirit jersey on these. So I thought this would be really fun to like use these while I was running and then use these afterwards. Like, wouldn't that be adorable? These socks were $16.99. Now, what I love about them too, they have the higher back, so they work really well in running shoes. So... These are going to be put to use very soon. They made Run Disney ears. Like, how cool is this? So starting at the center, we have Cinderella Castle and a sequent bow. And then we have this like really cool metallic red emblems of all of the parks. It says Run Disney. And then it's got all of the different emblems, kind of like it did on the Spirit Jersey. It's got a blue interior. The side says... Sorry, that was upside down. <laughs> Every mile is magic embroidered on the side. And Run Disney 2021. So all of this was for the marathon weekend that happened in January. So they're all themed to that race. The last Run Disney item I got was the Run Disney 2021 pin. And it's the same exact image as the Spirit Jersey. And this was $17.99. Now, I will say something that I did miss out on is I heard that they had a pass holder pin, but I couldn't find it at any of the parks. So I'm hoping to find it like on the aftermarket. Also, we do have a personal shopper for Disney World in our group um, over on Facebook. So if you ever want any of these items, you can definitely contact her and our Facebook group information is going to be linked down below. While we talked about ears, let's keep talking about ears because I have plenty of them. I'm not proud of myself. So I got a couple of new pairs of ears because they were all brand new and all super flippin' cute. So let's check them out. First, we are gonna start with the Valentine's Day ears. How cute are these? So we have two sideways hearts. 
obsessed. Then we have little white hearts all over the ears. I love that Disney is now doing some velvet on the inside because it does grip the hair a little bit, which is kind of nice. And then it's got just a sequined headband and it is like the absolute most perfect ears for Valentine's Day. I love these. All of the plain ears that I'm showing are $29.99. These are the brand new baby blue ears. I think they're called periwinkle. Maybe they're called cornflower. Uh, do you guys remember that crayon color cornflower? It's like this color. Anyway, um, how beautiful is this bow? I am obsessed with these. I just thought this color was just so lovely and it would go with so many different things. Like you could use this for Cinderella. You could use this for Tiana's blue dress. You could use this with basically anything and so I was so here for this and this is definitely one that I think I'm going to be bringing on several um, upcoming Disney trips. And the last pair of ears are oh my gosh so adorable. First of all Disney please stop with the CVS receipts. We don't need these on ears. Anyway $24.99 these are Marie ears. How adorable are these and they have a little tuft of hair. Her little bow I think that these are so cute. Now I will say, it took me a little while to find these ears because a lot of this side of their ear was very crumpled. So I would highly suggest kind of picking and choosing through the selection to make sure you get one that has equal size ears. Cause you can kind of tell, right? That this one's still a little flat. That was how it was for all of them, but like significantly worse. So it's kind of weird. I don't know, maybe a manufacturing flaw, but they're super cute regardless. So soft and also with a pink velvet on the inside. So here's what they look like on. Aren't they super cute? I mean, they're a lot smaller than like regular ears, but I do think they're very adorable. And look at this tag. <laughs> Come on, Disney. Basically, right when I wear any of my ears anyway, I cut off the tags no matter what, even if they're the little ones. <sighs> Okay, so that does it for ears. So let's move on to jewelry. I got one piece of jewelry and let me explain myself. So I got an Alex and Ani and you might be surprised at who it is. This is the Finding Dory Alex and Ani and it says just keep swimming. Now, I have been journaling a lot in 2021 just because um, 2020 was really difficult year for everyone and Every time I sign my journal at the end, I don't know why, it's just kind of a tradition, kind of like it's a mental wrap up. Every time I've signed my journal this year, I wrote, just keep swimming. And I got a Lillian and Co bracelet that says, just keep swimming that I wear every single day. And I'm gonna add this to my stack of bracelets just because it's definitely a mantra for me, especially in 2021 with how crazy things have been. And so here it is. Let's see if we can look at the emblem. There we go. So you can see Dory at the bottom. There's like a starfish and then some coral and then Nemo is at the very top but isn't that beautiful I love an Alex and Ani bracelet I just wish they didn't tarnish so quickly this is a $44.95 I did the haul video I can finally wear it putting it on right now <laughs> I was totally waiting to show you guys before I put it on next we're gonna talk about two board games that I purchased so when we were at the cabins we had this like big table and my best friend Jackie and I are super big into board games like we love board games and one of the games that we played often was Haunted Mansion Life which was another Disney Parks exclusive life game and oh my gosh it's so fun but obviously since we were traveling we couldn't bring it along with us so we went to the shop at the cabins and we were kind of looking around for games to see what they had and we came across the game of life Walt Disney World edition and what is so cool it's not I'm sorry it's not Walt Disney World it's Disney Parks edition they have things from Castaway Key they have Walt Disney World they have Disneyland the ride vehicles are actual people movers and then you guys have to check this out so here's the back but look so if you've played the game of life you'll know so there's like a spinning wheel and it's got the partner statue and then this it's all of Main Street USA and then you have like a little Mickey hat and you get to be one of these characters it is so fun and basically the whole point is by the end of the game has 
like the most property and most money wins. And it is such a fun game to play. And everything is related to being at the Disney parks. And it is just so funny. It's like, oh, Haunted Mansion broke down. You pay someone $5,000. It's hilarious. But the dollars are wishes in this game. We had so much fun playing this. But on the way home, I put this in my check luggage. And my check luggage is a hard case luggage. Look what happened. Do you see that ding? Like it totally smash. This box is so hardy. They had to have literally thrown my luggage and it like caved. I'm like, good grief, Alaska Airlines. What the heck? So it's kind of beat up, which makes me a little bit sad. But I mean, it'll be fine. I mean, the game I checked and all the game pieces are still whole. The game board is still fine. I was just like, side eye. Um, I have no idea how much this was. I'm pretty sure that it had cellophane on the outside and I took it off because we played it. So if anyone knows how much that is, <laughs> let me know down below. The next game I got, I saw my friends Abby and Hope over at the Disney Sisters, which I will link their channel down below. We did a collaboration video while we were at Magic Kingdom where we opened um, Small World Wishables. It was so fun. Please be sure to go and check them out. But I saw them have this game and play this game and it looked so fun and I was so excited that I could find it at Animal Kingdom and the Jungle Cruise game. And so this game is a Jungle Cruise adventure game. And what's really cool, I don't know if you can see the texture on the box, but it looks like it's like faux wooden. Doesn't it look like the ride? It says this end up, Jungle Cruise. And then um, it says families seek experienced skippers for a safe, speedy journey along perilous Jungle River to the Jungle Navigation Company headquarters. Esteemed company owner Alberta Falls will announce one of four families as temporary company caretakers before going on a sabbatical and we're in the running. We might be your future bosses. If you keep us on board, we'll do the same for you. Skipper must guarantee arrival of cargo and passengers, preferably in one piece. Doesn't that sound like so much fun? So here is the board game and these are the boats that you take along with you and the game board. This looks so like so much fun. I'm so excited to finally have gotten this. I looked for this last time I was in Walt Disney World and it was completely sold out throughout the entire property. So finally, this one was $44.95. So I'm assuming the game of life was similar in that price. We're gonna move on to apparel. So let's talk apparel. First of all, I bought something because I was desperate. So on the first day that we were at Epcot, which was February, February 1st, I think, it was 23 degrees with the wind chill. So it wasn't 23 degrees, but with the wind chill it was. And oh my gosh, I have never been so cold at Walt Disney World Ever. And I was like, gee, thanks. I'm an Alaskan and I like, brought the weather with me. But I was so cold and this was the cheapest thing that I could find that would keep me warm. So let me show you what it is. I ended up getting this fleece. This was a $44 fleece and it's really cute. It's like super fuzzy. It has the Walt Disney World logo that is kind of, it's like embroidered on a patch embroidered on a patch here. It looks really cute. And then it's got a zippy a zippy, a Mickey zipper pull. And it's really nice. It has two little side pockets to put your hands in. It is fleecy and warm in there, which is really nice. And it's got the same lining as it does on the outside. So it's just one layer, but still kept me really warm, which was nice. It's definitely a necessity while we were there. The next shirt I got is so cute. This is from the Disney Style Shop in Disney Springs. And this is a crop Daisy Duck Walt Disney World t-shirt. Um, is this the cutest t-shirt you've ever seen with Daisy Duck? Like this color, number one, the color is beautiful. Also, how adorable is she with her little hands spread open? What a little angel. And, and this guy was $29.99. I really wanna wear this with like some leggings, like a kind of a, like a crop. I got this as an, in an extra large and it's pretty oversized, which is great. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with these. They had several different colors of these. I think they have gray, red, and then I got the blue. But this is Walt Disney World, but check it out. It's a chenille patch. 
Like how pretty is that? And then a Mickey Mouse and it's all in navy blue and baby blue tint. And so it's kind of because of the lighting is really harsh in here. I don't know if the baby blue is picking up, but that's baby blue. And then it's got like really cute little racing stripe on the side with like white and navy blue. And this is a crop. It's kind of hard to see. It is a crop. I got it in an extra large for it to be oversized and the extra large is really, really big. I probably could have got away with a large, but still it's super adorable. I love a chenille patch. And this was $44.99. The next shirt that I got was kind of a random purchase, but I really, really, really liked it. This is their crop hoodie that has all silhouettes of villains. So gosh, it's so hard to show shirts. So here is what it looks like. So there's the hood, right? And then check out all of the villains. You got the old hag, the evil queen, Maleficent, evil queen again, Cruella, Scar, Hades. Is that Hades? Yeah, Hades. Isn't that such a cool design? I thought this would be perfect for Halloween. This is an extra large and $44.99. And it does have little cuffs. Sorry, I probably should have showed you that little gray cuffs. The next shirt that I'm going to show you is one of my most favorites and I got this, I got another color of this last time I was in Disney World, but check this out. So this is like a short sweatshirt that's a crew neck sweatshirt. It says Walt Disney World. It's so hard to show. So sorry, but check this out. Oh baby, that is like the beautiful holographic, um, I call this, uh, 90s glitter like do you remember in the 90s like this was the glitter that was the thing oh, i'm so obsessed with this sometimes when you have it on it looks like a backwards spirit jersey which i totally understand i got this in an extra large this is so comfortable too it's a really lightweight sweatshirt and i just love how it looks on and this was 54 dollars 99 and Okay, so I am Year of the Ox, and this year for Lunar New Year, it is Year of the Ox, which is so cool. So I got the Year of the Ox spirit jersey. So it says, Happy New Year, Walt Disney World, and has an ox, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like all of these really cool emblems and things in like red glitter. It's so beautiful. And then on the back, it says, Happy Year. I'm assuming this means new. And then we have Mickey dressed up in traditional garb, which is so cool, all in metallic. And you'll notice I have a little bit of a theme because I bought other Lunar New Year things because I'm the Year of the Ox. So I ended up getting five boxes. Oh, I'm sorry, Spirit Jersey, $69.99. Um, I ended up getting five boxes of these guys. These are the Lunar New Year mystery pin set, and I will be doing an unboxing very soon on the channel of these. These are too cute. I love, look at that little, <laughs> do you see the little cow in the middle or the ox in the middle? He's so cute. Here is the Lunar New Year pin this year for Year of the Ox with Mickey and Minnie on it riding an ox, which is so pretty, $15.99. And then I also got the pass holder version, which has the castle. It has some Chinese characters here in the center and then it has the ox, and then it has this really beautiful medallion at the bottom that's a dangle element. And both of these pins were limited release. I'm cheating a little with the next item, which I hope you guys understand. So my friend Jen had me pick this up, and I just wanna show you guys what it looks like because it's so cool. So this is the new Disney World emblems or I should say Disney Park Emblems backpack. And it's a new design. So they came out with one last year or the year before, it was 2019, I think. Yes, it was 2019 because I had it when I went to Disneyland. Um, they came out with one in 2019 that was like a dark teal, which was really cool. But now they came out with like this bright blue lounge line mini backpack with all these really cool uh, park emblems on it. So let's do a close up of this. Oh my gosh, this is just too cool, guys. So we have a Peter Pan ride vehicle, a pirate, we've got the hitchhiking ghost, we've got Cinderella Castle, a Dapper Dan, a Tiki Bird, co Country Bears, Big Al, Small World, Dumbo, Spaceship, I almost said Spaceship Earth, Space Mountain, a Yeti, 
It does have a cell phone pocket, which we are here for. Uh, there's Mickey Mouse. It's got churros, pretzels. It's got the opening day of Epcot. Do you guys see that? The opening day of Epcot outfits for Mickey and Minnie. It's got the dog from Pirates, which we... <laughs> We did a live stream where we chatted and you guys voted to name the dog that has the keys Keith. So this is Keith. We got Keith on the backpack. We love Keith. Mr. Toad. We got a Stormtrooper teacup. Like how beautiful is this bag? I just think it's so cool. It is a pretty traditional lounge line mini backpack as far as aesthetics of it goes. But I love that they have the cell phone pocket because they've been kind of going away from that silver hardware. And then the inside lining says Disney Parks and it has the Mickey balloons, which I think is really fun. And it does say Disney Parks lounge fly. It was $75 and I'll be shipping this out to Jen very soon, but just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was really cool. Love that there's Keith on there. We love Keith. <laughs> I almost died when you guys named him Keith. I was like, oh my gosh, such a perfect name. So we're going to move on to some pins. I don't have a lot of them, but I'm going to stand and just show you kind of quickly what we've got. I mean, let's start with a bang. Why don't we? So this is the Pixar character cameos pin limited edition of 1500. This pin was $39 and 99 cents. And it comes in a really cool Luxo ball holder, but guys, can we talk? So this is actually an Easter egg that's in the movie Up and in this little girl's bedroom as Carl is flying by in his house with the balloons, you see in the corner of the room, Lotso Huggin Bear. It is such a cool Easter egg and I love that they depicted this in a pin. And it is a pin on pin element, the bed is, and also Lotso. And what's also really cool is there's a little Luxo ball and I don't know if this was intentional, but doesn't it look like Boo's door? Like the little flowers that are on Boo's door. Such a cool pin. It's also much larger than regular pins. I have so much appreciation for this. And I was so excited to see that it was still available when I was there. So here is the next pin. This is Scary Teddy. This is a new open edition pin. I believe it's new as of Christmas time. Scary Teddy is my most favorite character of Nightmare Before Christmas. And I have a small collection of him. And I thought this would be so cool to add to my Christmas pin board. So he's gonna go on that pin board. The next pin that I got is a 2020 pin that came out. This was one of their monthly pin releases. And this is Goofy Fishing. And it looks like a little trading card. It's so cute. So this was like a little trading card series of $17.99. And my husband loves fishing and I just thought that this was a really cute pin. Also, if you guys have seen this short, it's flipping hilarious. So um, as you can tell, he's doing his little crazy cast that he likes to do. This is a limited edition of 4,000. This next pin is so pretty. This was for the cabins at Fort Wilderness. And this one I believe was $9.99. But how cool is that marbling in the background of this pin? I always like to get a pin of all the places that we've stayed on Disney property. It also is gold in metal, which is really cool. And Mickey's got like a really cute little raccoon tail hat. Like how fun is that? And little hiking boots. And you can see the little pine trees in the background. It definitely looks like the cabins at Fort Wilderness. I just think this pin is too cool. Here is a brand new open edition pin that is for the princesses. They actually have all of the princesses like this. So their castle is in the background and their signature is on the castle. And then they are a pin on pin element. If you can see that, there we go. They're a pin on pin element in front of their castle. These pins are so beautiful. I love that they chose like a teal metal for Ariel's castle. She looks so beautiful there, like reaching up to the land and she's got glitter in her fin. I just am so here for this pin also. Even this was $12.99. I couldn't go to Disney World and not get a dated pin. So this is their 2021 pin and it is a spinner. How fun is that? So they are all of the version of the Mickey shorts. So they're that new animation style. I know a lot of you don't love in that animation style. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but man, I really have enjoyed watching the Mickey shorts. Like they are so funny. Also, it's kind of hard to see. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up, but there's like 
all different Magic Kingdom emblems on the back. So there's like a spire from the castle, the castle, there's Space Mountain, Small World, um, kind of in these little squares in the back pirate ship. It's kind of cool though. The next pin I got was the Tungle, the Tungled, <laughs> the Tangled 10th Anniversary pin with Pascal in the dress that Rapunzel made him. This is hilarious and I love this pin so much, $19.99. This is a limited edition of 3000 Can we just appreciate that? <laughs> look at his face. But I have a new pin collection that I am collecting that are all sewing, DIY, and craft pins. And this is going to go on that pin board. Of course, I could not go during Valentine's Day season without getting a Valentine's Day pin. And can we just appreciate all of the things that it says on there? It says, you're swell. I'll be your mini. I'll be your Mickey, be my pal, and oh boy. So I'm assuming that these are some really cute little conversation hearts that maybe Minnie or Mickey left out for one another. $15.99, and this is a limited edition of 5,000. So a pretty large limited edition, but still such a cool pin. I always love getting pins that are seasonal when I go. The next pin set I got was the Reveal Conceal Disney Switchboard Collection. And I got this because of who was on the front, but let me show the different options of who you can get on the back. So you can get Mickey, Donald, Kermit, Buzz Lightyear, and Roger from 101 Dalmatians. And then you can also get Jumba. And I got Jumba because if you guys know who Jumba is, he is in Lilo and Stitch. So I have a feeling behind this guy is gonna be a stitch pin. So let's open it up and see what we got. So this is a limited release pin set. So here's a little bit closer look at Jumba. So he is on the phone. So that's kind of the whole point of this series is all of the characters are on the phone. And then we have a mystery pack. So let's see who we got. Oh no, we didn't get him, darn it. So we actually got Scrooge. We got Scrooge. Dang it. Okay, so if there's anyone out there that has the stitch pin that would like to trade, I would love to trade with you guys. But this is pretty cute. He's got like a flip cell phone from like the 90s going on. <laughs> That's super cute. For a second, I thought it might be Von Drake because like, doesn't his whiskers on the side of his face look really pronounced for Scrooge? I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to looking at Scrooge. But this is a really cute pin set, but I hope that I can get the stitch pin. Now let's talk a festival of the arts. Oh my gosh, my most favorite festival. This is so I've been to three of the five festival of the arts. It's my most favorite festival because I just love creating and artistry and all things art. And so I just love going. And so I'm going to start with some of the basic things that we got. So this bookmark is something that we got for participating in the paint by number. So this was actually what we painted. And so if you can see, so there's all of the different uh, pavilions and areas of Epcot, which is so cool. And then there's figment like shooting off into space. Like how neat is that? And so this was what the actual mural was that we were drawing. We ended up drawing, we ended up painting right in this area where the rainbow was, and that will be in an upcoming vlog for you guys to check out. The next thing that I got was for doing the Figment Brush with the Masters, and that is the scavenger hunt. And so every year they do a scavenger hunt where Figment hides inside of like a really famous piece of art. Go to each of the pavilions and find the art piece that matches and then place it on your map and then turn it in to get a prize. So here's the prize that I got. And I'm sure to no one's surprise, I got Figment. <laughs> so you could get Mickey, Donald, Mickey, Donald, Chip and Dale, or Figment. And I of course chose Figment because I love him. And you get to create like this diorama. So this is what he looks like. So he can stand and he's got his little art palette. And then also, the they have a Spaceship Earth stand up in here too, so it's kind of like a twofer, which is kind of fun. And I have a little figment shelf, so this is definitely gonna go on my figment shelf. And I love that he's kind of stylized this year. I think he looks really cute. We, of course, couldn't go to Festival of the Arts without getting a Festival of the Arts passport. And this just has all of the different activities and all of the different menus and things for all of the booths that are in Festival of the Arts. And then this is kind of fun. So Jesse and I 
did bicycle art. This was something that I really, really wanted to do while we were there. And so what we did was you get on a bicycle and you pedal, put a canvas down in like this barrel. And then as you pedal, the canvas spins and then you can drop paint on it to make spin art. It was so fun. It's coming up in an upcoming vlog from this trip. But this is what we made. So this one is Jesse's on uh, this side. And then this one is mine. I did a heart and Jesse did like this really cool pattern on the inside and it does have glitter. So let's see if the glitter will pick up. Oh yeah, there we go. It's kind of picking up a little bit. There we go. So the glitter on mine is silver and Jesse put gold glitter on his, but aren't these so fun? And they're something that we made and so it's like attached to a memory. I'm just so here for this. I thought that this was so fun. The experience was I think per $90 per person, which really wasn't that bad for that, like a, an experience like that. I will say something that I was very disappointed in and you'll probably see it in the vlogs is that um, they were fully sold out of all of their Festival of the Art Spirit jerseys and I wanted one so bad because it's Figment doing a picture or painting a canvas of Mickey Mouse and I thought it was so cool and I was so angry that they didn't have any left because we were there pretty quickly after they the festival started and the cast member that was there said they're not going to get any shipments in so I missed out on that spirit jersey which was really disappointing but I ended up getting two pins. Uh, this is the five year anniversary so it's got a little number five and then it's a Mickey pin on pin element and it says Epcot International Festival of the Arts and this is a limited edition of 2000 and I just thought this was so so cute I love that in the background it has like the purple spaceship earth when it's lit up at night I just think it's so cool and then uh, that one was $17.99 and then this one is $15.99 this is a limited release and I actually chose this one over the pass holder one because I just liked this one better and again it's got spaceship earth like kind of lit up at night with those purples and oranges and things and figment painting a Mickey Mouse and so this was the image that was on the spirit jersey that I wanted so badly and then it's got the little number five up at the top and figment and his little easel they are a pin on pin element including that number five next is kind of a silly item but I went to pop eats and I had their tomato soup which was so delicious by the way it came in this little faux can that's plastic and it says pop eats and it like has a little pop top and I'm seriously gonna use this in my craft room to store some sort of small little thing because I just thought this was too cute. It's got little fork and spoon and knife and little writing all over and it says pop eats. Tiny on there, I'm not sure if you can see it but it does say Epcot International Festival of the Arts on top and how cool is that? It's just such a unique little item. I also think it's kind of funny because it definitely looks like an aluminum can but it's just plastic. Oh. This item is so cool. The opportunity to meet Dirk Wonderlick, I think that's how you pronounce his name, from Thomas Kincaid Studios. And he worked with Thomas Kincaid for several years before he died um, and actually helped take over during the, um, helped take over in 2004 for all of their Disney characters. He's such a kind person and I asked the person who was manning the booth what paintings has Dirk been involved in because I didn't want him to sign a painting that he hadn't done and so they mentioned this painting and it is Peter Pan and I am going to be putting this into my coffee bar that's going into my office at work which I will be doing a video on very soon but let me show you the painting and then I want to show you like what's so cool about it. So here it is. This is such a gorgeous painting. So it's Peter and the Darling Children flying over London with Tinkerbell and Tinkerbell is kind of the main focal point a little bit of this. And then it's got TikTok Croc in the clouds and Captain Hook and Smee and the pirate ship. And it's got Skull Island in the background. I mean, this is just a stunning piece of artwork like wow <laughs> and there it is he's like be sure to look at Nana and so here's Nana kind of flying off to the side but what's so cool is Dirk asked me what 
what I wanted drawn on the back and I told him that I'm a huge Little Mermaid fan and so he sketched me Ariel from memory on the back of this canvas and so um, there's this is like the certificate of authenticity that you get when you purchase a canvas from Thomas Kincaid and then he drew Ariel and signed it at the bottom like how cool is that so this piece was $49 I believe and it was so worth getting it was such a cool experience to meet him and I just had so much fun with this that's what that's what Festival of the Arts is all about, right? <laughs> they did provide a little meet and greet information and then like his name and like what he's done for the Thomas Kincaid Studios company. And it was just a pleasure meeting him and such a cool experience, one that I will never forget. The items I'm gonna show you are the mugs from Starbucks that I purchased that are the Been There series. And the reason I bought these, I actually hauled these in my last haul back in October because I picked them up for a friend. But I decided to get some for my own because I'm creating that coffee bar in my office and that is what I'm going to use for the coffee bar. So let's take a peek and see what we've got. I'm going to start with Animal Kingdom and so I'm just going to go through these kind of quickly and so it's got all the emblems, the tree of life. Oh my gosh, Quaharini! Oh I love that! <laughs> and then it's got, oh yes, we've got um, Rivers of Light. It's got the dinosaurs as a jumbo. Isn't that so cute? Moving on, the next we have Magic Kingdom. We've got the teacup, Cinderella Castle, Tiki Birds. We have Splash Mountain, Pirates. Is Keith on here? <laughs> Where's Keith? And then we have the little raccoon from Country Bears. We've got Jungle Cruise, the most magical place on earth. And this is what's so cool about these cups, guys. This is why they're so awesome. Check this out. They stack perfectly together. So isn't that like a lovely display? So it kind of saves a little bit of space, looks really nice. So here for it. Next, we have Hollywood Studios, where we've got Rock and Roller Coaster, we've got an ad at Alien Swirling Saucers, Tower of Terror. We have, oh, the dinosaur, Gertie, is that Gertie? And then uh, Fantasmic. We've got the little building blocks from Toy Story Land. The inside is like a burgundy color. And then last, but certainly not least, this is my favorite one. We've got Epcot, Spaceship Earth. We have um, the Dream Finder. We have the Mexico Pavilion. And it says the 21st century begins today. How fun is that? I love how retro this looks with the monorail and the orange and the purple. This is my aesthetic, I'm into it. If you made it to the end of this video, you are the real MVP. <laughs> like insane. Thank you so much for spending so much time with me today. If you made it to the end, please put like a purple heart emoji down in the comments down below so I know if you made it until the end. Also let me know what your favorite item was from this epic haul. Holy moly. I don't even know what I, I bought to be honest, but I mean... <sighs> I just love this. Um, anyway, guys, I had so much fun hanging out with you. Be sure to subscribe down below because we have so many vlogs coming out for this trip. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye.